Hi my loves, welcome back. So today's video is going to be very useful. I'm going to be showing you how you can make this Kelly pochette into a shoulder bag and I'll be showing you five different ways. So this video idea came about when I did my comparison. Recently I did a comparison between the Kelly pochette and the Kelly Mini 2. Now if you haven't watched that video I will link it here but if you are considering either of those bags that's an in-depth comparison comparing both these beauties because both of these bags are really hard to get. But whilst I was doing that video I was doing some mod shots and I was showing a couple of ways in which I transformed this bag into a shoulder bag. But whilst I was editing I actually thought of a couple of other ways and one of my friends shared a way that she actually does it as well. So I thought you know what I'm just going to make a very quick separate video and quickly show you five different ways you can change this bag up. So if you do see me in a different outfit that's because the first two ways I had previously filmed and then I thought for the next three I actually want to show you because it will be using twillies and a twillion. So let's get right into it with the very first way you can change this bag into a shoulder bag. The first one is with this necklace. So this necklace is called the Farandol and it's in the 120. So this is from Hermes. But if you had another necklace that had this sort of design or something similar, what I've done, and this looks gorgeous with it, is I've just put it around the top of the flap like this. Just also bear in mind this won't hold. So this is only if like just say you're going to an event and you want to be hands free but I wouldn't recommend this like for the whole day because you know after a while especially with the weight you don't want it to leave indentations but it looks beautiful worn like this. Look how gorgeous that looks with the metal chain. So I have worn it like this before but you know just to an event for an hour or two. So the second way you can wear this as a shoulder bag is to actually pair it with a felt. Yes, this is my Kelly belt. And what you can do, but look, you can wear it with any of your belts. It doesn't have to be Hermes, but I'm just using my Kelly belt because I have tried this one time. So the Kelly belt just looks like this. It's got the same sort of clasp. And what I do is just I put it along the this top flap like this, and then I just secure it down. And then, as you can see, it becomes like a shoulder bag. So you can put it there and it's got the Kelly detail there and that also works. Obviously it would be better if this was matching but you definitely can do contrast. But just say you had a black Kelly pochette and a black you know, belt or gold on gold, it would work really well as well. So the third way in which you can make the Kelly pochette into a shoulder bag is by using a twillion. A twillion is basically just a really long skinny twilly. Now this is the only one I have. It doesn't match so I actually haven't worn it this way but there are lots of twillions now so this would work if you know just say your bag was black or orange or anything but you can easily get a twillion to match. So what I do is I just fold the twillion in half and then I just wrap it around the twilly handle. So it doesn't have to be exact because I'll show you a bit later. So what I do is I just, as you can see, I just wrap it around a few times. So one, two. So when you get to the end like that, you just loop that through like this. And pull that through so that's one side and then you repeat it on this side here so all the way down and then you just thread that through at the end like that so as you can see, the top part just looks like it's wrapped in a twilly, but you've got all these long ends. And really all you do is you get the ends and it doesn't have to be exact and you just tie it. So you can see this part is longer, but it doesn't really matter because when you wear it on the shoulder, it's fine. So I'll insert a mod shot of me wearing it. So you just tie it into a little ribbon like this. That is the third way in which you can use this bag on the shoulder or even as a crossbody bag too. So the fourth way we are also going to be using the Twillion 
Likewise, find a twillion that matches the bag. And this is a way that my friend actually taught me. And I think it's pretty creative. So what you need is, she doesn't use this, but I find it very useful. This is just like a little hair clip thing that my daughter uses for her dancing. Anyway, if you turn the back round, what you need to do is with the Kelly pochette, see, you can see this little hole back here. There is actually a little uh, gap there. So what I do is this is purely just for ease. You put this through this hole. So I just sort of push that through because it's so thin. So it comes through the other side. So it's much easier instead of trying to thread it through yourself. So I just pull that through like this. Now it's stuck. Okay. So you pull it through that hole. Then you just thread it through to about see where this black tag is you can just even thread the black tag all the way through a little bit as well that's fine so then when you measure it up so if you measure it up i think one side should be a little bit longer than the other that's fine and then basically what you do is you just twist so i'm just holding it with my knees at the moment and you just twist it like this. Now you wanna twist it quite tightly, but not too, too tightly. Like you don't want the loops to come undone, but as you can see, every time I'm twisting it, I'm sort of like, you know, making it a little bit tighter. So I'll just keep doing that till I get to the end. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have twisted it and I've left about that much. And this is a little bit of like trial and error because I've only done this a couple of times too. But then what you do is you grab the shorter end and then what you do is you use the pin and you just push this through. It just makes it a little bit easier using the pin. So you might find that the strap comes undone a little bit, but you can just sort of twist it back like this. And then you just get both ends and you tie it like this. Into... Oh, so it's a little bit uneven, but as I said, you'll be a little bit of trial and error. I mean, you can do it whichever side you want. This is just very quickly done. Probably should have made that a little bit longer, but you guys know what I mean. So if I close the bag up, as you can see, it is all twisted. So it looks really nice when it's worn on the shoulder, which I will show you. And then that is the back. So it's just got that little, little bow. But you absolutely can make that longer. That's just really, really quickly done. And if I open the bag up, it you can see it doesn't affect the functionality of it. You can still, you know, access it. But it makes it into a really cute shoulder bag and you just imagine that in the similar tones it would look really really nice and you know it transitions from day to evening with this little twillion really well and the final way in which you can transform this pochette into a shoulder bag is by using two twillies so these are two of my twillies which go so well with this uh, pochette this is in rose Pupre, by the way and what I do is you still need this, well, I use this little clip because I find it really helpful. So very similar to the fourth way before. So what I do is I turn the bag around and using this little pin on this side here, I just push this through. So if we push it through here, like that. So I just pull it through till I can sort of see Hermes and then I just 
make it into a little, uh, not knot, but you just do a little tie like that at the end, like this. So on this end, you can see the Hermes Paris here on that side, as you can see. Okay, so that's one end, so that's one twilly. And then on this side, I'm actually going to go from the front now. So I'm not going to go back. I'm going to go from here out this way through here. So if I get the other side, which is this part here, I will use my little pin again. Okay, so as you can see, I've put it through the front now. And the reason why I've done that is because although I really like my friend's method, um, it kind of lent forward a little bit. So I find, this is one that I've done, if I put one out the back and one out the front, it helps balance it out. So again, you just loop it through so you can see Hermes Paris. And then you just tie that into, just knot it up there. So that on this side, you can also see the Hermes Paris. As you can see, you left that end with Hermes Paris. So now on both sides, one and two, you've got Hermes Paris. So then you are left with both these long twilly parts here. So twilly one and twilly two. So to hide this part here, which is the tag, what I do is I just fold it up like this. So just fold it up. And then when you're folding it up like that, just sort of fold and twist because you want to hide this silk tag, but you also want to twist this a bit so it doesn't, you know, it just looks better a little bit twisted, I think. Okay, so that's one side done. So you just have to sort of hold that on one end and then repeat on the other side. So just fold in half like that. I'm just gonna hold that with my knee. Hold this in half and repeat the process, just twist. Okay, so now I've got two parts twisted. As you can see, it looks pretty balanced. And then all you do is you just tie this at the end. The reason why I've twisted it is because, look, you can try it without twisting it, but you will see the little silk tags. If you take the silk tags off, then it's not a problem. So then I just tied into two little bunny rabbit ears or even, you know, it kind of looks like a bow as well. So there you have it. So that is it guys. That is five ways in which you can transform the Hermes Kelly pochette into a shoulder bag. Do comment below which was your favorite way. And if you do own a Kelly pochette and you've transformed it into a shoulder bag another way, do share below as well because sharing is caring and we're one big happy family here. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did like it, give this video a thumbs up. I just think it's fun to experiment with your bags and I think that transforming it into a shoulder bag just gives it you know a different feel a different vibe and it just gives the bag a kind of different look as well so thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you really soon in my next video bye